What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out how transgender politician shares her journey with Matt Walsh. Let's get to it. From the moment she decided to live her truth, Ryan Webb knew she was in the fight of her life. Living under the oppression of heteronormative standards is considered business as usual to most women. But Ryan faced a different learning curve. Many of the everyday experiences of women were new to her because until a few months ago, this lesbian woman of color identified as a cisgender white man. Ryan knew her stunning bravery would make her a target, but she never anticipated the amount of hate she would face from her new community. Hmm. This is a big moment for Ryan Webb. Agreeing to an interview after revealing her identity as a transgender lesbian of color requires a different sort of bravery than we normally see in the political world. What is it like to be so brave? Well, you know, I've never really looked at myself as being brave. Um, you know, I just simply uh, declare how I see myself and my um, own expression of my own gender identity. And uh, I don't know if this is acted or this is real. I didn't look at it as being brave. Now I've been told by others uh, that it is brave. And uh, for those people, I appreciate that. But, you know, I was a, uh, immune to, to seeing it from that perspective. Wow. Perspective is something that can help all of us understand, Ryan. Her life story is sadly all too familiar. A young woman of color stuck in a society that doesn't see her pain or hear mm -hmm. her cries. Sitting around the dinner table at night, did you, did you have a chance as a family to talk about things like gender identity, gender fluidity? I'm sure that probably... Believe it or not, um, we didn't. You know, at that time growing up, I don't even know if those words were spoken with the uh, familiarity that they are today. Things we mm -hmm. talked about was, uh, you know, what we're going to have for dinner, um, you know, what things we're going to do together later as a family, maybe what family program we we're going to sit down and watch together for the evening. Those are the things we talked about. The political arena became the perfect place for Ryan's internal frustrations to play oh, out. It's a real thing. Years ago, identifying as a cisgender white man, Ryan burst onto the scene fighting corruption and seeking fairness in local politics. But while fighting the good fight for her constituents on the outside, Ryan was fighting a much bigger battle on the inside. And it was only after being elected, in fact, relatively recently, that you started to realize that you're actually a woman. I've always felt something. And, um, you know, I wasn't quite sure what- How does Matt look so serious doing these interviews? It was, and uh, I've been I hearing um, lately in the last year or so over and over that, you know, only a woman knows what a woman is. And I knew I was feeling something, but I didn't know what it was. So I thought, well, let me, let me check into it. So I tried to look it up and I, I couldn't find anything anywhere describing what a woman was. So going back to that statement, only a woman knows what a woman is, I thought, well, I'm definitely mm. feeling something. So this has got to be it. You came out of three closets at once. Woman. <laughs> woman of color, and lesbian. lesbian. The reason why I identify as the woman of color is because I have a Cherokee bloodline, Native American on both sides. Uh, my great-grandmother on my father's side was a full-blooded Cherokee um, Native American. And recently, uh, we had done an ancestry DNA test, and that helped me recognize that it's uh, my fourth or fifth grandfather, great-grandfather, I can't remember which one it is, but he's actually chief walking stick of the uh, Cherokee Nation in North Carolina. So being as that I had Cherokee on both sides, um, I thought, you know what, this is awesome, oh, and uh, that allows me to classify myself as the woman of color that I am. Mm. What makes me the lesbian is the fact that I am still madly in love with my wife, and and uh, that'll never change. I'm still attracted to her as a woman. Navigating her... That makes you a... Anyway, I'm not going to judge anybody, right? New identity as a lesbian woman of color came natural to the councilwoman as well. What was the process of understanding the transracial identity in particular? You'd have to recognize that being a lesbian woman of color does... Um, you know, affect three different protected groups and classes. Now, because of that, I have um, come out and, and been recognized as the first woman of color in the history of uh, Delaware County Council. Now, I don't believe that they're going to give me any awards for that, but it's possible they may name some local park after me or something. We'll see what the future holds. What? Oh, they're going to do that for you? Guys, from today, I'm a white woman who is also a lesbian. 
and bisexual. I need a pack named after me too. Like, what the hell? If you can just do this and get a pack named after you, then I should be able to get a pack named after me. I've been working so hard my whole life. Damn. What's really brave about you is that you came out as a trans woman of color, mm -hmm. and yet you have changed nothing no, even the dress about code. yourself physically. Mm -hmm. So you're just literally the exact same person, but at the same time, you're a woman of color. I did uh, take the step of changing my name. Um, I used to go by Ryan, uh, which would be Ryan, the male version. But now I'm using the name Ryan, but it's the female version. Oh. Same spelling. Same spelling. Mm. When you're out in front of an issue like this, there are always going to be people that doubt. What's your response to them? Well, I would say I've heard that. And uh, to that, I would say it was just a few short years ago that they said that you couldn't identify, a, a man couldn't identify as a woman without taking the steps necessary to do so. And that's no longer true. I mean, I'm living proof of it. The gender identity mm -hmm. is one's personal sense of one's own gender. Let's say it again. One's personal sense of one's own gender. Doesn't say, doesn't have to be affirmed by anyone. It doesn't say everyone has to agree with it. It doesn't say everyone has to take you serious. It says a person's sense of his own gender. Although wow. Ryan served as a beacon of hope to some, I would like to commend you for the strength of character that you've shown, Councilwoman Webb. It is indeed a brave and courageous act to come they out. They call him Councilwoman Webb. America, what are you guys doing out there? I don't understand. On time says they are. Her entire existence was challenged by others. You are a public figure. You work for us. You should be fired. He's flaunting the, the minority, you know, lesbian as such as the first council person as a lesbian. Hmm. With his facetious claim that he identifies as a woman of color, he has made a mockery of his constituents I, as I well as so. his elected position and this council. Honestly, that kind of took me by surprise. I, I thought that I would have been accepted and, and celebrated really for the, for the groundbreaking uh, nature of, of what it is. Um, you can imagine my surprise when um, the local leftists and liberals. Uh, how is Matt Walsh not laughing? Like, how can you be serious here? Like, I don't know if it's fake now. Like, I can't even tell if this was just acting. What the hell? How is he that serious? United uh, attack against me. Um, they coordinated efforts online to uh, try to cancel me, um, embarrass me, shame me, bully me to uh, get me to, to back off. Of all the comments Ryan heard that night, she is still haunted by one in particular. Hmm. I have to warn you, what you're about to hear is disturbing. At the county council meeting, there's a, a transgender person there, Charlize. Charlie, just a couple of years ago. Charlize told me that for me to be accepted in, in their eyes, I would have to uh, change my pronouns and take the hormone treatments, change all my documents. Last week, council person Ryan Webb announced publicly on social media and to several news outlets that he now, now identifies as a lesbian woman of color, retaining his male pronouns and bragging that he is now the first, this is a quote, LGBTQ plus woman of color to ever sit on the Delaware County Council. Hmm. He is being disingenuous and his words not only embarrass himself, but you the county council. To see that kind of bigotry coming from such a beautiful woman was really startling. <laughs> that was the most sarcastic, sarcastic thing I've heard in my life. What did he just say? Let's take it back. I want to hear Matt Walsh again, guys. Listen. Council. To see that kind of bigotry coming from such a beautiful woman was really startling, almost. I couldn't believe that Charlize was willing to lay out uh, requirements to be accepted moving forward. So that was shocking to me. Mm. Now that she has publicly made her transition, Ryan hopes to use her voice to inspire others in the fight for anti-racism and shine a light onto the unique hardships faced by women today. Now we have seen other uh, uh, minorities struggle for acceptance. Elon Musk, for example, <laughs> rarely is included in the conversation about African-Americans. You've been on both sides of the spectrum now. What is it that you think men in this country need to know about the lived experiences of women? It's not 
being all that is cut up to be. Everyone thinks there's a lot of advantages to come come with being a woman. But for me, these last three weeks, it's been a little difficult. You know, for one, my wife's been having me cook a lot more. And number two, <laughs> yeah, yo, uh, like, nobody's been taking me house. serious on anything I'm saying. Um, I've had a hard time getting people to believe me when I tell them that uh, this is my true authentic self. Mm -hmm. If you're telling me that yourself as a BIPOC woman, um, your experience for three weeks has been rejection, hatred, people not taking you seriously, let's say you've had a pretty authentic experience. Well, you know what? I appreciate uh, the perspective. It allows for a complete paradigm shift that um, I hadn't contemplated before. No matter what her detractors say, Ryan is proud of who she is and even more optimistic about what the future holds. What does the future hold? We talked about history. What does the future hold for Ryan Webb? Are there any other closets that you might come out of in the future? You, you know, this, know, this process of um, self-discovery, uh, the journey of, of gender discovery and gender identity the is complex. Journey? And uh, oftentimes it takes us places that we never intended to go. And the journey. Knows, um, by the time this is all said and done, I could end up right back where I started. Mm. When I think of the great female civil, civil rights heroes of our time, uh, Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Ryan Webb, Susan B. Anthony, <laughs> Ryan Webb. <laughs> I knew that was you coming. You know, I can only hope to be put up there with, with some of the legends of our time, but wow. uh, you know, we'll see. You know, history has a funny, funny way of shaking out over time, so. Hello, I'm Matt Walsh. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can get all of our brand new content the moment it's released. Come on, man. Like, somebody tell me that was fake. Like, I don't know. I feel really stupid right now. Like, that was a real thing that's a real politician in america coming out to say he's a lesbian woman of color three closets at the same time i don't know man like i, I feel confused right now and matt walsh was not even laughing but he was making a mockery low-key i could i could see and i could you know read some of the statements jesus he hasn't changed his name hasn't changed the pronouns no hormone change, nothing. He's just going to live his life like that and identify as a woman of color and there's going to be a pack named after him. Wow. That better be staged, guys. Like, it better be. Otherwise, tomorrow, guys, I'm announcing my transition to a white woman, a white bisexual woman. In fact, I'll come out of like 10 closets at the same time so I can get a pack named after me. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on that video. I want to read what you guys think after seeing that one. I, I'm still confused because I don't know if that's a real thing. Like I can't fathom that being real. And also he sat for the interview, a 10 minutes long interview and couldn't sense anything awkward about it. Even the last part where it's like the women activists and they named him in the list. He didn't see anything awkward there. Okay. Talk to me, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.